Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to another video on the channel. This one, as you can tell, is actually the Forgotten Makeover. So I probably should have done the other family members as a separate video too, just because it took so much time from the actual episode. But you know, this this time it's actually its own little separate thing, so if you want to see their makeovers, here they are. If you don't really necessarily want to see their makeovers and you just want to watch the series, the, the next video will be the series, the, like the next episode in the series. The train is obviously trying to compete with me with how loud it can be, so thank you, train. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that they were really in due for a makeover. I feel like I need to decide like every so many episodes for the Eevee and Forgotten series that I need to either at least give them a one like a new outfit or so, or maybe do that every so often because I feel like it get you get tired of sort of seeing their old outfits. I didn't get rid of their old outfits just yet, but um, I did give them a new outfit. I think. I don't know if I changed all their looks or just gave them a new everyday. I definitely know I gave everyone a new everyday outfit because, you know, that's the outfit you see the most. That and the hot and cold outfits. But I don't know if I changed them. But everyone also got new hairstyles actually in this one as well. Looking back on it, I think I'm going to go back and change Fanteon's top and her main wear. The main reason why I went to even give them a makeover in the first place was actually because Fanteon was missing a skirt because I accidentally deleted that um, CC object that I had as her skirt. It was also one of Evie's skirts and a few other people's skirts. So there was a few people missing some bottoms. Uh, oh, it does look like I go through and actually change a lot of their outfits because there I'm changing her swimwear. And I remember I was going to give her that one swimwear, but I thought it looked very weird on the bottom. Not necessarily. I know some people do wear those. And the reason why I'm saying it looked weird is because the fact that she is now raising Rice, even though he's not her biological son, she looks at him as her own son. So I figured that she would probably start changing a few of her outfits. I don't want her to necessarily completely change her looks because I don't think if you have a kid that means you absolutely have to change how you dress. Uh, you may dress a little bit more comfortable inside, but if you're going out and stuff, you still may actually dress up and dress nice and, you know, have your still your own style. Because I don't think you need to change your style once you have a kid. But I did want to at least change hers a little bit, and I think I'm going to go back and change the top. I actually mentioned it in the next episode where I th think I should have changed her top because I didn't give her the bathing suit because I thought it was a little too much. And I think the top, looking back on it, is a little too much too because, you know, now she does have a son and he's getting older. So I don't think she would necessarily change her style, but she might try to change a few looks and not make them be as revealing. So I'm probably going to go back and change her top. But as of right now, that's, that's still her top. <laughs> uh, as for Arachneon, I definitely wanted to just sort of keep with her style as well. All of them I wanted to keep with their style. Um, I did give her slightly longer hair because, you know... Your hair does grow out, though mine takes forever to grow out. Most people's grows out pretty, pretty quickly. And imagining like the time span that's going on, I imagine hers would have grown out quite a bit. So her hair is now longer and she now actually curls it. Cause I still wanted her to have that feel of basically a black widow is the feel that I've always went with Arachneon since the beginning, <laughs> that she is the one that she looks, she looks amazing. She's always pretty, always dressy. And, you know, she grabs people's attention, but you may actually not want to get to know her. <laughs> but, so, what I, I think what I did, actually, I went through their outfits and see if they were needing them, because if I deleted CC or not, that's what I did. But I didn't actually give them many new outfits past the everyday look and changing the hair. Now, with the guy's hair, oh, I was dreading changing their hair. If you know how I am when it came to other townie makeovers that I have done whether it be for people who are mainly in the Forgotten and Eevee series or not I dread changing their hair because usually I'm like I got so used to the guy's hair and there's something about the guys that I think their hair really can define them I don't know it's always been hard for me to change the guy's hair so I was absolutely dreading it but honestly Vinion's clicked almost immediately as soon as I gave him that hair I was like you know what I actually really like this hair on him. 
So it actually worked really well for Vineon. I quickly got his hair changed and quickly got all that changed. And Mekion's new hair I like quite a bit. Dreon's I'm still sort of on the fence about. <laughs> I like it on him, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I like it as much as his old hair. So maybe over time, it will grow on me. But as of right now, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. And it, I probably took longer deciding on his hair than any of the other guy's hair. I may have actually took longer on his hair than I did even the girl's hair. I don't even remember, actually. But, yeah, it was just... Overall, I was like, ugh, I don't know. Some of them look good on him. And the ones that sort of look good on him, I was like, but does that really fit his style? Or do I use that hair too much? Because there was a few hairs that I was like, oh, I like this. I actually sort of like this one on him. Wait, a bunch of guy sims that I make almost always use that hair. So, like, it was like a balancing act. Because I don't want to try to use the same hairs over and over again. I want to try to force myself out of using those hairs and, like, out of the comfort zone. So, you know... I was, like, trying not to use their certain ones. And, you know, I didn't really talk much about Vineon's style, but I feel like Vineon is self-explanatory. And his style was pretty easy to get. He has a unique style, but at the same time, it was sort of easy to just find it for his. But anyway, you know, <laughs> whoops. Vineon's, like, one of my favorite ones in this series, though. I just, I just like his character in general. He's very strange, and he has his cons, but... <laughs> He's a great sim at the same time. <laughs> so, um, you know. But anyway, now with Rayon's style, he also has a very, very unique style. And honestly, I was like, I really don't think I have a lot of stuff that fits his style. In fact, his main outfit that he usually walks around in is actually from... It's an EA outfit. It's from City Living. So I was like, I really don't think I have much that can fit him. So, you know, I was like, uh, I feel like he's probably the sim out of all of them I struggled the most with with the makeover. Trying to figure out, did I have stuff that fit his style? What really was his style? What should I do? What changes should I do? And I was just like, I just, I don't know. Um, this shirt is pretty close to the style, but I think it's actually a recolor of an EA shirt. <laughs> already so you know but it did work for him and I do like it but I still think I like his main outfit better but oh well you know so you know I, sometimes you just the first outfit's just too good but with Mekion here I actually had a few hairs that I was trying on him and trying to figure out which one I actually like because I will say he may be sort of very pale he may be a little bit on in some degrees, some people may call him, like, creepy because his eyes are so pale and everything like that. But a lot of these hairs actually really did work for him and really did look good on him. And I could not decide. I actually ended up asking a friend, my friend Cassie, which hair did she think looked best on him? So I cut those scenes out because I took, like, pictures and sent to her. But I was like, which one do you think works best? Because she is a hairstylist. So I was like, you know what? And so she helped me pick which one was actually his hair and then his clothing. I have been dying to try this shirt on someone and I actually think it fits for him. Like it's it's a different type of shirt and it's a different style of shirt, but I think he pulls it off. Like I think the type of personality he has and the person he has, like the type of person he is just pulls it off and it looks good on him. So I was like, yeah, I can finally use this shirt that I've been trying to use for a while. So that is one of his new outfits. I think I'm getting pretty close to the end here. I hope you've enjoyed this makeover video of the Forgotten series. I don't really do anything to Rice and Steel. One, Rice just aged up not too long ago. So, you know, he just recently actually was um, given a change. And Steel's a dog, so there's not really much you can do to change. But I did go click on them. Also, Steel's just cute, so how couldn't you go look at Steel and see how he's doing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out some of my other Sims 4 series. The playlist will be down in the description below, as well as my social medias, if you're not following me on those. And all that good stuff. And I should also have links to all the places I find my CC down there too. Make sure you're subscribed, share the video for others, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!